So I just want to do a couple from what we did last time because it leads right into what we're going to do today that's new. Uh, so what we did last time was trying to add these rational expressions together. Oh, real quick, before I get too far. Are there any questions from homework beyond today from the more recent sections? No? You guys are like, dude, I'm not there yet. Alright, get there soon. Uh, the end of the semester is coming real fast, though, by the way. Did you notice that? It feels like yesterday we were talking about the syllabus. Uh, so last time we did section 7-4. That's where we ended up. So here's a... Let's do a problem together real quick, and then I'm going to unleash you on a few... I keep unleashing you. No. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see what you guys think about this. terms I put down there, what do you need to do? Find an LCD. How do you find the LCD? Can you find it really right now, the way things are? Not entirely. You sort of can start, but what? which one of these needs a little work? The last two, because its bottom is not factor. So I have to see what it's made of. So how do I factor this? And this is the big mistake people make is they do this, and then their brain is like, ah, oh. it's dark. Throwing stuff in there. No, 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 no. What is what kind of problem is this? X. Yeah, X comes out. Yeah. X, X, X minus one. X minus one. And then why do you go, thank God, because those two parts are exactly what we have. these guys have. So this is not always true, but very often in these problems you're gonna see hints. If there's a part that needs to be factored and there's other parts that don't, those probably are parts of the guy that needs to be factored. You can use those as hints. Does that make sense a little bit? Or not, just factor whatever you can. Don't even think about it, right? So, so is, is he missing anything that these guys have? Yes. He, he's missing something? No. no. No, he's got X and, so what's he missing? X minus one. one. Yeah, because these guys have an X minus one, it's no fair. And what's he missing? X. X. Or it could be she, I don't know how to tell. Math, biology, I don't know. Just turn the number up. Uh, no. <laughs> that was from the X. So now what can I do? Yeah, I can add them. They all have the same LCD. So what's going to be on the bottom? X. Yeah, not three of these or something weird, right? Get so many of these plus so many of these minus so many of these is going to be so many of these. That that's that's the part. I really don't know if you guys understand. So 4x minus 3x, what's that? X, yeah. What 4 over x minus 3 over x is? 1 over x. So 4 of these minus 3 of these is 1 of these. 4 of these minus 3 of these is 1 of these. I mean, it's exactly the same thing. It's just like terms. That's why we have to make like denominators so that they become like terms. <coughs> Uh, so what do I get on the top? 2x plus 3x minus 3 minus 4. Is that right? And that equals 5x minus 7. And can you go any further? Because the top can't even be factored. So I don't know. Okay, maybe, maybe, maybe. So, uh, some of you guys have probably already started doing these, which is beautiful. You guys can just sit there for a little. So now I want you guys to do these three. I'll give you a little hint on the first one, a very small hint. Uh, we talked about what to do in that case already. Uh, let me give you a larger hint. Oh, uh, page 138. So let me give you a better hint on the first one. Uh, 
the first guy is not missing a 2 minus t. The second guy is not missing a t minus 2. Because what can you do with 2 minus t, for example? 138. Well, that won't help you. You can take out a, a negative. Take out a negative. Right. Try it. Try to do 5 and 6 and 7. If you have trouble with five, just let it go for a minute. We'll do it. Definitely do six and seven. And you can work together if you want to. I like it. Or not. You can loan, you can loan wolf it. That's all right. 